This video introduces the Excel functions SUMIF and SUMIFs. As the name suggests, SUMIF gives us the sum of all numbers in the selected range of cells that meet the defined criterion or condition. It's like asking Excel to perform the sum function if the values meet the condition. And with that, I think you already have an idea about SUMIFs. Its function is the same with some if, except that some ifs can work with multiple criteria. Some if can only work with a single criterion, while some ifs can work with both a single and multiple criteria or conditions. Watch this video for the illustration. Sum if is great for conditional summing of data. It's an Excel worksheet function that returns the sum of all numbers in a range of cells that meet specific criterion or condition. Criterion can be applied to dates, numbers, and texts. You can choose sum if from the formula bar or type the equal sign and sum if, then tab. And as you can see, the parameters or arguments in the SUMIF Excel function include first the range, which is the range of cells that you want to apply the criteria against. The second parameter is criteria, which is used to determine which cells to add. It's the condition that has to be met in order to be included in the summation. Finally, the third parameter is the sum range, or the range of cells to sum together. In short, for every value in range that matches the criteria, the corresponding value in sum range will be added. Let us apply that in the example. We already have the sum if formula let us try to get the total of product 3, for example. So, this is our criterion and the range is the product column where we want the criterion to be applied with. The formula requires us to input the range first, so let us go to this column. Then, the criteria which is product 3. And the sum range which is the amount. Enter and we have the total of product 3. Let us review the formula. Our criterion is product 3, so Excel adds the values in this column corresponding to all the cells with product 3 in this column. Let us double check that with another formula to add all values for product 3. And the answer is the same. What if we replace the criterion with product 4? The output is automatically updated. You can also just type the criterion here. Enclose with quotation marks and enter. And you get the same result. Note that the sum range is optional. If it's not indicated, the formula uses criteria range as the sum range. See this table for an example of sum if without the sum range. Here you want to add only the amount in cells A5 to A16 that are lower than 30,000. So our formula is just the range which is A5 to A16 and our criterion is this. The total of the amounts that are lower than 30,000 is 109,041. And let us double check that. And the answer is the same. Now let's do the sum ifs Excel formula. With the S at the end, it means that SUMIFS is an Excel formula that is used to sum cells 
that meet multiple criteria. This is the same function with the sum if formula, but it can work with multiple criteria. Actually, it can do both the single and multiple criteria. Using this same table, let's get the total of not all product 3 but only those coming from region 1. So, the criteria are product 3 and region 1. Both criteria must be met. The sequence of the arguments in the sum is formula is different from that of the sum if formula in order to cater all criteria. Let's type equal sign and sum ifs, then tab. As you notice, instead of the criteria range, the sum range comes first. So let's go to column C and choose C5 to C16. Then, criteria range 1, followed by criteria 1. Then, criteria range 2, followed by criteria 2. If you have more than 2 criteria, just continue the formula with criteria range 3, then criteria 3, and so on. For our example, let's just use two criteria. The total of product 3 from region 1 is 38,444, which is this one. Only one cell in the range meets both criteria. As I mentioned, some ifs can also be used for a single criterion, so let's do it with only product 3 as the criterion. And the result is the same with the output of the sum if function that we did earlier.